Hey y'all, it's me, Macy Lynn. This is, what is this? April the 1st, happy April Fool's Day. This is floss tube number, sorry Patty, 118. Um, can you say hi, Patty? Hey, can you say hi, hi? She's up here on the table helping today, as you can see. <laughs> Good grief. We have had a busy week around here, but it's been, um, I've accomplished some things, so I'm happy about that. Um, I've got whips, Patty, Patty. I got my mail caught up. So if you had something coming from me and you've uh, contacted me, it's on its way. So that made me um, insanely happy to get that finally going. I had uh, lots of questions and comments this week. If um, Patty, can you not like, write all that stuff? Thanks. Thanks. Thanks for playing, Patty. She wants to help, I guess. Okay, so um, I did get a finish, but I can't, I'm just gonna flash it because it's just a little mini of a design Frankie has coming out that I did the um, model stitch on. And then I wanted to do an additional little one, but I haven't got an FFO to send it off to her because I was gonna FFO it a certain way. So uh, she has the big one to FFO, but um, I'm just going to hang the threads down over it so you can't see it like super good because I just did a little piece of it. So this is a design that will be coming out. Um, should be on Frankie's set soon. Um, I think it's one of her Scandinavian designs. I mean, I know it is, but I'm not sure what she's gonna call it yet. And I enjoyed stitching it, but I wanted to finish this one up um, as small like on, like you could send on a little card or in a little frame for a friend. And so I have not got it FFO'd to send to her. Um, I finished stitching it, but I didn't get it FFO'd. So that, I guess I do have, I was gonna say I didn't have a finish this week, but I do have a finish this week. Um, it's just not an FFO, and I won't be able to show the FFO anyway. So Frankie will show the FFO. Um, but I'm gonna get that off and then mail to her. Hopefully I'll get it FFO'd um, tomorrow. I've got a lot this weekend. We're gonna have all the fun. CJ and Wani are coming up today, um, this evening. The uh, Littles will spend the night tonight with Pap and I. Justin, their daddy has been working all week and I think he's been in LA this week. But the strange pictures behind us, that's the other thing we've been doing. Um, dealing with my mama's storage unit. Yeah. So, there were some things that had been missing. These two. I did these years ago. I did this for my grandma, for my mama, in 1993. She loved dolls. So I stitched, the, and kids. So I stitched this little girl with this baby doll in 1993. And James Williams and I framed it. And not having one of those fancy guns, this is what he always does for me pushes the nails in the back. So it's just a stock frame. Like I said, it was 1993. Um, you can see my little light going in there, but she loved it. She had it hanging on the wall always. She was so proud of it. And it always made me happy that she enjoyed it so much. So that was there. The one that it took me the longest to find and that I thought was really lost was my, that I stitched for mommy years ago. And I used to always put glass on my stuff. Um, I don't now. I'm gonna get this guy back over here in a minute because I just propped him up. James and I framed this one also. No, I did not. I paid to have this one framed because they cut. You can see it is Jesus. It is Santa praying over baby Jesus. And if you look really close right there, you can see they cut, they accidentally pulled some of the thread or cut them or something on his belt when they framed it. And I was so upset. But this piece has been missing for years. And I found it in the storage unit. So, there is that. Now, last week, and Grammy Stitcher um, sent me the words for it because it is Proverbs 1624, which I had, but I had, y'all can see if this will sit right here without sliding out the floor. Nope, maybe. 
Maybe not. Maybe we ain't trying to have no wreck today. Let's just pull this down. We'll just sit him over here. Because I ain't trying to have no wreck today. So, I'll just get right back over there. Okay. This one, I had forgot I'd even stitched for her. It was in there. It was stitched in 98. So, you know, I mean, it's been a minute. I guess I'll let myself have a little slack. But, it's just, and the way I had it, Framed. I must not have been completely pleased with it. It was just temporary in there. So I took it out and took the glass off. And I may put it in a smaller frame. I'm not sure. But it's pleasant words are as honeycomb, sweet to the soul, health to the bones. Proverbs 16:24. So how hilarious did it went on my brain last week and then I found it in the storage this week. So but these I think all came out of either just cross stitch or one of the old cross stitch magazines back in the 90s but I love this one. I do wish that I had changed up some of the colors so it showed up a little better, but that's okay. The little bees, I mean, all of it is just so cute. But yes, I was so excited to find it in there. See that white? You can barely see it on this Fiddler's cloth. But it's an all eight a stitch. Um, I just used, I had just a few linen stitches back then, not very many, because I just stitched it on whatever it said so I know the math was right and I never thought about doing anything else because, well, you know, I never didn't know any other stitchers or anything. So um, I didn't go to a needlework store or anything like that. So, oh well. And um, what the hair is doing this morning, I don't know. My hair is absolutely the queen of it's your thing, do what you want to do. That's what my hair does all the time whatever it wants to do. It does not care. It has no care for what I want in the world. It does whatever it wants, 100%. So that was fun this week to find those because I was seriously in a panic about the um, baby Jesus and Santa because it was one of the last boxes. And there it was. I spent a lot of time on that and had it professionally framed when I did not have very much money at all. And I was free, as Kimmy says, freeting. I was freeting out. I was freeting out. Big time freeting out. So it's found. Um, there's a guy coming to take the rest of it off. Uh, most of it is just uh, clothes that haven't been worn and shoes that haven't been worn in like a chameleon years. I don't know. Anyway, Michael went and helped me. She is my, um, she will help me and get me going where I will just want to cry and not do it. She'll come on and say, come on, mom, let's go. And so she told me she's Justin's gone this week and, um, let's just, you and I go over there and we'll just get these two done. So there was two there. So now we just have one left. And then those will be done, and I won't have to think about that anymore, um, which makes me crazy happy. To not have to worry about that and dealing with that is just happiness, pure happiness. So, but yes, those were some fun finds, and I found some fun pictures. Y'all, I'm all over the place today, so y'all just have to be excusing me. Uh, brought them over here because I was going to share them, and now I can't find all of them, maybe. I thought I brought them all over here. I must have laid the others down somewhere. Maybe they'll turn up. Good grief. Well, here's a few. Here's sister and daddy and I. When um, I must have just graduated. Must have been the fall after I, the winter after I graduated because there's a Christmas tree behind. And then uh, my sister would have been a freshman, I guess. No, sophomore, it's freshman or sophomore. And then there's daddy in between us. Here are daddy and I at some place. That's me on the barrel horse. So some of these were really fun to find. And I had some of my uncles and daddy laughing and one of my mom and her sister laughing, but I don't know where I've set them. Uh, here's my papa my mama's daddy with CJ when he was a baby. And I think 
I don't know if that's my sister or me or Kim. We all had that kind of, kind of hair. Sadly, I think that's me. That hair be looking like a wreck. On spot. I'm a liar. That horse's name was Nubbins. Oh my gosh, I sit here and lied. Where did that come from? Woo! That horse's name was Nubbins. Lord. And then this. Okay, my papa here, his wife, my mamma, that I stitched this for, her, I think, uncle played pro baseball. And he was, and I just blanked on his name this morning, Marbury. And he is somewhere in this picture. 1925 Washington baseball team. American League, 1925. If I sit here and look, I can probably pick him out because they all look the same. I mean, my mama and all her people, they all really resembled each other, but I'm not going to. But anyway, so that was another fun thing that I found in boxes and boxes of pictures and pictures and pictures. So, so back to <laughs> my Easter house trio by Waxing Moon. And um, Sunny, did you say that there is a patriotic barn trio because I'm off to look for that because y'all know I want to live in a red barn one day and then there's a patriotic barn trio to stitch so now I've got to go look for that um I have an art to go so yeah um but this is the cutest dang pattern I was kind of all over the place this week so I'd stitched my house this house and this house already. And so mainly I worked on my grass and my border. That was something I could do in the evening while my brain was reeling. So I've gone down here and I've got the other set of grass and the other sidewalk and the pink little bunting. The pink little bunting is the beginning of the bunting. I've got it done. And then I will join all the grass together and it'll just be like one neighborhood, like my other one. I'm gonna change the word Easter that's up here to blooms. I'm gonna put blooms on mine, so it'll say bunnies, blooms, and baskets on this side. So I wanna leave mine out all spring and spring, you know, last past Easter. So I'm gonna put blooms on mine. Um, you know, whatever your gig is, you could put Ostara on there, you could, you know, put whatever. Um, but, I want to leave mine out longer than that. So I'm going to put blooms on mine so that it doesn't just say Easter on it. But it will all be on there. And I think I will work a little um, cross into my house somewhere. I haven't decided yet because I don't want to write Easter on it. But Easter is a big part of my spring. So I don't know if I will put it I'm thinking about putting it like on the front of the house here where there's a blank spot. I could put it right there. Um, I could put it on either side of my blooms or I could just put them out here where there are some like different little Easter eggs and things like that. So anyway, I will work across into mine because um, Easter is a big part of my spring, but I want to leave this out all through spring. And I don't like having things out after they say the holiday. So that's why some of my like winter pieces get to stay out because they don't say Christmas. They can still just be Easter. So I don't know why I feel like my camera is something weird today. <sighs> something weird looks on my camera today. So I hope everything is okay when it um, posts. But that's another good thing about these is you can just work on the border that's just patterns and things. So if your kind of brain is fried, because that's where I was at um, after we've been cleaning out them storages. My brain was just kind of, eh. So I sat over there and just stitched on that. 
um, and I didn't have to watch what I was doing or be mindful that I was missing something or counting wrong or any of this. Um, these are the DMCs and then I have put some of Frankie's colors in there. Um, this is Wild Irish Rose, which I love. Is in there. Um, Yellow Moon is in there. Um, hey Jude is in there and Baby Face. I pulled those already to, to switch out for some of the ones that um, are called for. I do, I, I love these Easter houses. I love the houses. There's, they're so colorful and they're fun and there are enough different elements and same elements. So like on my house, if I feel like I can focus, I can do bunnies or houses or birds or like this. But also if I'm just kind of, I can just stitch on like one of the borders, the grass, the sidewalk, something like this, the bunting that is just a repeating pattern and I can sit there and stitch and not have to tax my brain, which is feeling very taxed already sometimes, even though I have not been doing very good at Jeopardy this week. So I would say my brain is not firing on all cylinders. Usually I'm doing pretty good, but this week on Jeopardy, I have not been doing as good as usual. So, Obviously, my brain is kaput. Catch came over one day. Um, he stayed with me for a while. Baby had um, a picture session or two to take. Um, she takes the most beautiful pictures, and so he stayed here with me, and we played and had a big time while she was, my mama was working. He's so sweet, and uh, we went on a long walk, and played and played and played, and he did not want to take a nap. And then they were leaving here and going to, I think it was Kelby's track meet maybe. So he was sure enough gonna be worn out when he got home that night, for sure. This, okay, I have two starts. Let me see, I'll, I'll, I have two starts because I had some finishes, so I'm gonna set that one, I'm gonna do this one. Change plans. This is my Jane Bell sampler. And she is from Just Stitch Along, Krista. And she is so sweet and she helps me when I do things but without trying to figure out how first. Oh, oh me, it takes, it takes a village for me still. This is Jane Bell Sampler. She's by Just Stitching Along. She's a PDF download. She is gorgeous. And I am having so much fun with her. I'm stitching her for Too Much Charles because he made such a generous donation to the Ukraine Relief Fund. And I told y'all I wasn't, I got, I counted, instead of counting off of this one to start my bird, I counted off this one to start my bird. So my bird's down here. So my flowers will be up here. But I'm thinking it's gonna be okay. These are the colors I had pulled before I decided to change it for a Ukraine stitch. I was gonna stitch it for James's sister and put Marie Vick on here. And I just liked all these colors. It is, I've got a DMC 316. And in place of old money, I used Wicked Stepmother Green Acres. I've got Wicked Stepmother Why Me Lord in place of old blue jeans. Then I've got On This Christmas Night and Figgy Pudding. And those are the colors I pulled. It's just a piece of, uh, Mm, what does it say on here? Natural or dirty? Natural. Natural Belfast linen. I finished my other bird. I did some work on my zigzag. I think it filled in my heart maybe. And I started on the flowers. I have decided that, I started about, and several of y'all said, you know, you could do the flowers in yellow. I think I will do um, some little flags with the bird out here. So I'll put little flags, the little Ukraine flag out here. These will buy, I'll put another flower here and I'll either put the crown up here, blue and yellow, or I will um, just put another flower. I'm not sure because I switched mine. I reversed it. It is a cute, sweet pattern. It is not huge. It's very easily finishable and get, it's easy to, you'll be able to get it done without 
So if I was wanting to start off with a sampler, um, this would be a good one. If you didn't want to take on a huge project, she's a good size and she is so cute. And I, Charles said that, that I put the, subconsciously put the birds on the bottom because it's the Ukraine and they're holding their ground and they are, and I'm so proud of them and I'm so crushed for them, but they really are just not giving up or giving in. And I think that says a lot about a people group when they're just going to stand their ground no matter what. Um, you have to, you have to respect that. That is so, I give them so much props. I'm going to show, somebody asked me if, here is what the original. And yes, she sends all these. And then I'm just gonna show you this so you can see that it, when you print it, it's big. This is just, so you can see, this is easily easy to see, easy. And also you can print it in black and white also. But that, she sends you the picture of the original, which is so sweet. And she explains it. the girl had a little doodle cloth going with some eyelet stitches and stuff down here on the bottom. But it is beautiful. Jane's work was beautiful. And so then you can see that when it prints off, if you've never used a PDF, because I was concerned too, would it print off like big enough that I could, you know, would it big or tiny or what would it do? And that's just my printer printing it right there. So you can see that it is easy. It's very easy to read. So it is um, not, don't be afraid of getting a PDF. Now you can always, a lot of y'all are much more, okay, let's be honest. The whole world is much more tech savvy than me. <laughs> not just a lot of y'all, everybody. <laughs> it's much more tech savvy than me. And so you can, you know, go in and change that stuff if you're not me and make it print bigger or smaller or whatever. I usually don't print anything until James Williams is home and I have him do it for me because I am so afraid that I will mess it up and then my chart will go off to somewhere else and I won't be able to find it or print it or trust me, the fears I have, the fears I have of, y'all just don't know, of, of being able to mess anything up. So I worked on Easter House, I worked on Jane Bell. I finished uh, my little for Frankie. And then I did forget, I'm having to list my whips that I forgot. And then I've got to start on my button button and another one. Uh, this is by Brenda Gervais. And I told y'all, I pulled, I cut the fabric last year, but I did not get going on it. And I've changed up the colors because they're very subtle. It's very subtle colors on here. It is beautiful. My bluebirds here are royal blue. My bluebirds are so bright blue and so beautiful. This is um, just a very subdued, it's beautiful, but I wanted to do mine like my birds look. And so I got a good start on it this week and I pulled my own colors because of that. So I've got a Wicked Stepmother Blue Suede Shoes. I decided to use it in place of Deep Blue Sea, was too um, dark. I may have to use a little bit of Peacoat, but that's not Frankie's, that was, um, mm -hmm. oh my gosh, Weak Style Works. And I've got Weak Style Works Palomino in here. I think I will use a Wicked Stepmother Nutcracker instead, but I haven't laid it on here to see. I've got Autumn Sweater and then Weak Style Works Red Rocks to go with it because you need two colors of rust. I've got Love Letters in the Sand, Run Run Rudolph, Green Onions, and Woolly Swamp. And if y'all, when I hold this up, y'all are just, this is so pretty. Everybody's just gonna be amazed how pretty this is. This design, not what I did. This design is beautiful. So that's his little eyeball, and then um, his wings go up here. You can see the little, what I'm assuming, or I'm gonna call dogwood flowers. They're kind of the colors of dogwoods around here. They don't have the little indentions, but they could be berry blooms too. They're either like blackberry blooms or um, dogwoods here, but have a little dip in them, but they're like that white kind of papery look. This is just on natural, I believe. Yes, 32 count natural linen. And it is going to be so pretty. 
Now, I'm also going, I'm thinking about, um, because you see this blue ticking back here? My grandparents always had blue ticking mattresses and blue ticking pillows. And I'm pretty sure my grandpa's pillow, I don't know, I wish I still could, it had to been filled with sawdust. It was supposed to be some kind of feathers, but it weighed like 89 pounds and it was like a brick. I think it was sawdust, but. So I think instead of doing all this orange around here, this rust, I may do mine blue stripes. I may do mine like ticking stripes like that. So that's not a sure thing. It may or may not happen, but that's what I'm thinking about. But it's called Button Button and it's by Brenda Gervais. I'm sure it is, um, her website is Country Stitches Online, I think. But you can see her name on there, I think. Um, there it'll focus maybe, right there. I, I'm sure they're still in lots of the needlework shops. It's not very old, maybe a couple of years. Let me see if I can find it on here. I'll tell you, if not, well, it'll just be a mystery. But I wanted to do it last year and I didn't get it done. It was a gift from one of y'all and, uh, oh, 2014. So it's a little bit older than I thought, but still. I'm sure it is widely available. And like I said, if not, usually if they are out of print, a lot of times her stuff is online on her site. So this is my button button. And I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Like I said, my bluebirds are just real bright blue and real rust colored, and I am mad about them. I love watching them, and I didn't have them at my other house, so I'm so excited here. So that one, and then I had one more start because I've been wanting to get this one started since I got bought it at the end of summer last year, and I didn't get it started. Um, I think it was toward this summer. Anyway, I had it last summer and didn't get it stitched. Um, I bought it from... Shelly, and it just keeps stitching. But I checked, and there's, I know Fat Quarter Shop has them. They come in a kit. I bought mine in a kit. I couldn't find if there's a PDF of it. I could not find one. So, um, Bent Creek, if anybody knows them, and there's a PDF hauler. I love this. It comes with your pattern a piece of 18 count linen, and then, um, you know, the big thread. Um, mm -hmm. The big thread that's called the big thread. Pearl cotton. Nothing wrong with me. So your pearl cottons come with it and your fabric. So I gotta start on it because I wanna have it finished by time to display this summer. So I made myself get it out and get going. And I got that much done. And it is, of course, it's 18 counts, so it stitches up pretty quick. And it is so cute. I'm loving it. It's super rustic looking. And so it has like four or five colors. One, two, three, four. I guess just four. Four colors. And so that's my start on it. And so I'm about, I've got about this much. So it won't take long, but it is beautiful. It is beautiful on this big, uh, just coarse linen, and it is just fabulous. Fabulous. I am loving it. Love, love, loving it. And like I said, I know Fat Quarter Shop still had it listed on their website. Lots of, I'm sure um, tons of other LNSs have it, if you just call your LNS. I don't know when it was printed. 2014, it's the year for 2014, evidently, today. Today is the day for 2014. So, um, those were my stitches this week. I think I feel like I left somebody out, but I don't know where. I don't know who it was if I did. But that is Bent Creek Flag of Stars, and it came as a kit. I really feel like I stitched on more than five things this week. So somebody probably got left out, but that's okay. That's okay. And I'm gonna leave this out. Y'all know I try to keep this put up because Aura be, 
over here in a little bit and um, I try to have everything put up before she gets here so that she and I can get right to uh, doing whatever she needs to do because I think we have to build a wheelbarrow this weekend. Yeah. She has little, it's like science project books and things and she loves them. And of course I got one of them for her so I, you know, she loves building and making things. And in one of these, you make this little wheelbarrow and you cut out the wheels and all this. And um, so I'm sure that's gonna be on our agenda this weekend is to make the wheelbarrow. I also um, did a little bit of shopping and Sharon, um, like I said, Sharon, Krista will be getting your um, Miss Margaret Ann Rolo to you because I guess Bab has this thing turned off. Because, of course, I go about everything backwards and she has to, she doesn't has to. She's nice enough to try to figure me out and save me, so. I was going to turn this on and see if I could show which one I bought if it wakes up. Because she has one that's about the same size as um, Jesse Watson. So, I'm going to stitch it for Granny. And they're about the same size. And then I'll just need to do one more for two mommy. So I purchased her to get her going. And I am so excited. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no. Oh. Oh, that must have been Pat leaving. Or not. Maybe I won't show this, guys. There we go. I'm going to try to show the picture of Sarah Lockhart, 1845. Here she is. I'm going to scream. Let me see if I can do it this way. Wow. Always when I'm trying to get something to open up, it won't. Maybe I can just Google it and get it to show the picture because we all know Oh my gosh, y'all. I think it is one of her new Nashville releases, but everything here ain't want to give me a picture of it. Here it is, yes. There you go. You don't have to show you my stupid light in there, but I cannot wait to stitch this. So I'm gonna stitch this one for Granny. Um, she didn't have as many kids as like Mammy and Paul, so it won't be as hard to squeeze initials and things in around here. So instead of a Sarah Lockhart, I have Granny's name at the bottom, and then I'll just put in the other things. But they're about the same size, so they'll work in the same, and I can use the same colors, so they'll be really fun to put uh, beside each other, but she is a Just Stitching Along X on Etsy, and it is called Sarah Lockhart, and it is a beauty. And it's one of her natural releases, so I can't wait. I can't wait to get that one started. And is there anything else on here? Well, I have this in my hand before we go to questions and comments. Well, here, I can show you on here. This is so fun. This is, these are, my Uncle Al is over here by my eyeball. 
my daddy's next to my Uncle Al. That was my Uncle Jojo and then my Uncle Wayne over there on the end. And they're all laughing and having such a good time. Um, that must have been at Christmas one year. That was another one of the pictures I found. And then here are my mama and me and my sister and my daddy and then my cousin Kim in the background back there. At Christmas and there's Kimmy up there in the corner. That was at Christmas at my grandparents one year. So it was fun. There were things about it were fun, um, finding things like that. I found a bunch of old pictures that I didn't know, so I had to send them to relatives to try to figure out who they were. Um, here's my daddy and his best friend, Jimmy, and I tell y'all about them all the time on the day he and my mama got married. And Mr. Jimmy always says his face is round like a pie pan, and I always think mine's the same thing. Like, I always say like a yellow smiley face, and Mr. Jimmy always says his is like a pie pan. So there he is, and there is my daddy when they were very, very young. And I thought I had one in here moment, but I can't find it. Maybe I can find it by next week. And then Patty, I already got a note out to you, but I intended to email you this picture. The girls loved their pillow slips, and Patty sent, where is my other things you sent me, Patty? I think I left them laying over there. You're going to kill me. Um, she sent two rabbit sampler and... Carrot cake by Stitching with the Housewives. And I guess I left them laying over there. Good grief. I'll show them next week. Um, but she also sent the girls these Easter pillow slips. And they were so excited. And Kimi said she's going to take hers home and use hers the right way. Because Aria had already filled hers up with things she needed to take home with her when she was leaving. Aria used her like a tote bag. Like a hobo. <laughs> she's, Y'all, she's such a little bag lady. She always has bags. She shows up with bags. She leaves with bags. She has things. She has things, and she needs to take them with her. So um, thank you so much, Patty. That was so fun. And like I said, Kimmy was very appalled that Aria was not going to use hers the right way. And then here is, let me see if this is my sweet boy or if this one's better, right here. Here's my sweet boy, and we're playing in the floor this week. Y'all, he's getting so big. I can't believe that his birthday will be the 25th of April, the day after CJ's. He'll be a year. I can't believe that. So, <clears throat> I have got to have all the fun this week. So, <clears throat> as I'm choking here. Lord. Um, now, I had lots of questions, comments, and I'll try to get to those because I'm already glad they're not too long, we know. Um, Rachel Q, I'm loving that the Crown Act is already getting passed and people are starting to take action on it. Um, I just, that makes me crazy happy because as a person <clears throat> who always fights with their hair, but not because, not because society said I had to, because it just wants to do crazy things. I can't imagine having to fight with against my hair to make it do what society said it had to do. And I would be defeated because half the time I feel defeated and society doesn't tell me what I have to do with my hair. It's just my hair not doing what I want. So I can't imagine if it was the other way around. And my planner, I don't know, I got it at um, Home Goods. It says Copyright Ecolo Limited. And then in the back of it, it says this. Gooseberry Moon. I looked for an ISBN or something and I didn't see one anywhere because that would be too easy, right? I thought books always had one, but I guess technically this isn't a book, so it doesn't. But it just looks like this and it has one of Patty's hair stuck on the front. 2022, it's just like a linen cover on it and it works great for me I love that thing so I hope you can find one um but it's just I love the layout of it it works great for me um <clears throat> Susan asked about this this one right here this is a blackbird design it's in the Easter parade with it and the bunny right here behind the thing 
that little bunny, are in the same one called Easter Parade. It's, I stitched it on whatever linen it said to stitch it on. And I have loved it forever. And I think they reprinted it. So I think you can find it around to stitch on it. Uh, Jan, congratulations on your upcoming retirement. I hope you have loads of fun. Um, would you, Wicked Stitcher helped me with the Weeks Dye Works. Now there's a tongue twister. Daffodil. She says it's really um, like a pale, pale green, like DMC 3819. And I was asking about it <clears throat> last week. And so she says, so thank you for that Wicked Stitcher. It is... Um, Weeks, she said it's a lot like pale green 3819. And um, so thank you for that. I appreciate it. And um, Faith, I started working like, I can't remember if I was 16 or 15. Because my birthday is in April. And I, so I can't remember if it was, I just turned 16 or anyway. Or I started right before. But anyway, about 16. Um, and I worked at a ceramic warehouse. And um helping the customers and I painted some, but um, it was super fun on the weekends and uh, the lady was very nice. She had a big giant uh, ceramic, like a wholesaler. She was a wholesaler. And so they sent stuff out, uh, greenware, bisque, dolls, all kinds of things out everywhere. So that was always fun. But yes, I have been working for a long, long time too. Um, Natalie, I hope you're healing up well and resting up and doing what the doctor says. Um, she said her mom baked a pie every day, and so when their friend, they had farms around them, and when the friends came through into town, they knew that they could stop and get a piece of Vegas pie and visit for a little bit. And um, I just miss, I miss that. I do miss that. Um, when we lived in May Pearl, I lived on the main street in town. It was a tiny town, but it was the, one of the main streets in town. And I knew all my neighbors, and if... Um, Sometimes I had several times friends that I knew would stop and they'd be out walking in town and have to go pee or something. And they go, hey, let me in. I gotta pee. Um, and I never locked my doors. And we had one friend that would just always come in and I'd be like, Mary, you gonna come in here one time and James Williams and I are both or one or the other gonna be naked because she would just open up the door and go, hey, and come out. And I'm like, one day you're going to get a surprise. She never did, but people would stop by all the time and just to say hi. And I miss that. Um, I miss that. And I worked. I worked and they all worked. So it wasn't just because we were home. Um, it was just different. And I miss that a lot, a whole lot. So, um, Natalie, I love that your mom always had that going. And Lori, I don't know, you always look like a million bucks. Tom about she was going to have to up her game because she went out looking like she was going to always be cleaning out the garage. And that's probably how come she was single. Lori, you always look like a million bucks. Every picture I see, you look like a million dollars. So I ain't believing you go out looking like you've been cleaning out the garage. Um, now, I was looking pretty rough this week. I'm going to tell you when we was in them storage buildings. Spider webs like to did me in. Spiders and spider webs, just like they did me and y'all. And I did not know that Lori's lilac was named for you. A wicked stepmother, which I thought I had it over here, and I don't see it now. Lori's lilac, it's in one of my kits. I've kitted it up with something. Mm -hmm. Is named for Lori because she couldn't find, um, she wanted a nice, a pretty lilac, and she couldn't, they couldn't find a song with lilac in it. So, it's just Lori's lilac, so that's easier. So that is fun. So every time I pick it up to stitch now, I'll be thinking about Lori. Um, okay, WW Jackie said she is a monogamous stitcher, and she wants to get away from monogamous stitching. I was a monogamous stitcher for years and years and years. It's fine if you want a monogamous stitch. I don't feel like there's anything wrong with that. I just have more time now, and I don't like starting i know that sounds insane because some people love collecting patterns and kitting them up and that's their thing if i had an lns that was down the street or was i would probably i might enjoy it more but still to me that's um i don't know that's just not my bag 
And if I would just stitch with what it's charted and called for, then I could, but I can't for whatever reason. Um, my brain just don't work like that. And so when I finish a couple of things, I'll make myself like this. I'll pull it out and get it started. And I'll pull it out and get it started. This one will not be finished, of course, by the end of springtime. It just won't, it won't happen. But I can stitch on it through the summer and then have it FFO'd and ready to go next season. So that's the reason I got away from monogamous stitching is I had a little more time and I wanted to be able to stitch seasonally, which is what I love, but you can hardly stitch seasonally monogamously and have new finishes, right? It's hard. So, I've, so I keep a couple of things running. So like this week, um, I didn't go, I didn't stitch on my, I don't think I did. You know what, that may be who left out. I may have done a few stitches in Spook House Selfie and not brought it in here. And so I'll just grab one of them up and put some stitches in them. And so I will be well through with my Halloween stitches and have them FFO'd and ready to display next Halloween. And then I can start something new. So that's the way, that's the reason I wanted to, um, oh, and I saw my first hummingbird this week. CJ, well, Wani and CJ gave me these, but CJ said just Wani. She picked them out, saw them and picked them out for me when she was somewhere and uh, brought them. So CJ said he couldn't get any of the credit for these because those were Wani's. And she did give them to me all by herself. And they, and I love them. And I saw my first hummingbird this week, so I was so excited. So if you haven't, um, you should be getting scouts now if you're not, probably not getting very many yet. Uh, we're, or I'm not at least. But I did see a black, a black chin already this week. So I've got, um, and I did, I've got my fingers out. So I'm hoping that I will start seeing more and more. So um, I would just add in, so like right now, if you're stitching on whatever you're stitching on, we're going into summer, right? So just, I would add in a small summer stitch. Maybe the tiny town. Um, who did the patriotic tiny town? Oh my gosh, I can see the cover and I can't see the word. Ugh. Anyhow, um, maybe heart and hand, I'm not sure, but just get you a small patriotic stitch and start on it and just stitch on it, even if it's just one day a week. Or if your eyes get tired of stitching on the other one, try switching up like fabric counts. So sometimes like on smaller fabric count, I can stitch it better in the morning than in the evening. So, you know, do it. So you have like a smaller and a bigger maybe, and you might like working on it at different times of day better, depending on how your eyes feel and stuff. And so just try adding in one and stitch on it during a specific show each week or a specific time of the day. You know, if you get to stitch more than once a day, so, you know, this will be my morning stitch and the other one will, I'll stitch the rest of the day or something like this and see if you like it. If not, I mean, if it, I always thought it would stress me out. And I, I'm, I'm at a, kind of at a tipping point right now. I have more than I like going because I've got two Halloweens. I've got Language of Liberty. I've got uh, my big Jane Greenoff sampler is in there and my Cardinals are in there and Cox Crow. I think that's what I've got in there. So I don't, that's about, this is about my, this I'm about my full level. And so that way I can just switch things out and pick things up. Sometimes I find I just don't feel like, feel, I don't feel like stitching on something, whether it's the stitch count or the colors or the what, um, and I want to stitch on something else so I can go get it. So maybe just try adding in one and seeing if, um, if you like that any better. So anyway, let me know, Jackie, how it works out for you. Helen, the pollen. The pollen is going to get us all. Helen B says it's all over her patio every morning when she gets up. There's yellow pollen. The pollen is real. And then it has been rough this week. We're going to look at this now. If I can figure out how to close this out. I don't want reader available. Right there. This is the um, 
caffeine shampoo. And I used it when I first started growing my hair out and I don't have any hair, I'll show you the bottle. This right here. Now it says there's even some that says double effect, but I, I just had this. If the picture will open up. Holy moly, why won't the picture open up? Because my internet is going like a turtle. Come on now. Maybe it'll open up in a minute. But anyway, this is what it's called. You can see the word, but it's a gray bottle, A-L-P-E-C-I-N. And it's caffeine shampoo. And maybe the picture will open up some decade. It's their dang website, you know. Oh, y'all. Maybe you can see it tiny. Oh, here we go. Maybe I can just do it like this. It's not a very good picture, but that's what the bottle looks like. And it's A-L-P-E-C-I-N. And it will help your hair grow faster. And I have heard that it will also help hair grow in, like if you have hair loss. Um, I don't know about that. I've never, I don't, I don't have that right now. I haven't had that since um, right after Keely was born. A lot of my hair fell out. But beyond that, I have not had to suffer with that. Thank you, Jesus, because that's a lot. But Micah has had it because of her, um, Micah has alopecia areata. And um, right now it's not flaring up, but she sometimes will get big bald spots because of our autoimmune problems. So, yeah, yes. But um, that shampoo will make your hair grow faster. I mean, it, so I used it to jumpstart my hair when I started wanting to grow it out again. Um, Daylene, you are so sweet. Uh, she was said my hair looked different. Everybody was very nice about my hair last week. Thank you. It's really now showing its butt this week. And um wanted to act a bird, but oh well. But thank you. Um, I always love when I get time to watch Daylene. She's always just so sweet and cheerful and happy. And she always has something yummy to eat. Um, I did buy a new cookbook this week with things to try to feed James Williams and no sugar. So we'll see. Because he got sick. He w stayed in the bed when I filmed last Friday. You know, he was off. And so usually he's, I never did hear the TV going. I think I mentioned it was weird. And so I was like, what in the world? Well, he said he didn't feel good. And so he laid around all day. Um, and then Saturday we were supposed to go for his mom's birthday. He got up and went to that. And then everybody came over here. But he still didn't really eat anything. He said, I ate that food at the hamburger place and I got sick. And I was like, no, we all ate there. And didn't get sick and everybody had the same kind of thing you had what he does is because he has the sugars you know he has diabetes and he when he is on vacation he says I'm on vacation and so he eats bad and makes himself sick every time every time so there's no use of me saying it he'll say if somebody from Mayfair called, you'd tell them what was wrong with them. And I'm like, I tell you what's wrong with you. You eat things you shouldn't eat when you're on vacation and you won't go to the GI doctor. I'm not going to the doctor anymore. They'll just give me more medicine. Then you're just going to feel bad because you continue to do the things you know you're not supposed to do when you're on vacation and now you feel like crap and you're sick. So it was weird. So then he was home. So he's home all last week. And then he didn't feel good on Friday, and he didn't. Feel, so the girls didn't even come. We didn't get, have the girls last weekend because he didn't feel good. And then we ate with his mom and his brother, and them came up and everybody on Saturday. And then they all came back over here, and we stayed and visited for several hours. And then Sunday he laid around, and then Monday he didn't go to work either. He didn't feel good. And so um, Mike and I were going to the storage. That was our first foray to the storages, and. Um, so he, when I got back home, he was still here and didn't feel good. And so I was like, oh my gosh, dude, you've got to go to work. You've got to go to work. Or I do. One of us got to get out of here. 
He went back to work on Tuesday and my life has returned to as normal as it ever is. So holy moly. Um, Karen, oh yes, I can definitely, Karen was very sweet and said I should be a speaker at, at like women's groups or something, but I can definitely talk. I can definitely talk. We'd walk down to the snow cone stand and um, my grandma would always, um, and Robin would say, well, we'll be fine. And Missy would say, oh, we'll be fine. And my mom would say, I ain't got to worry about y'all. They won't keep y'all long before they bring y'all back. Y'all be screaming and talking and they'll bring y'all right back. And it's the truth. I can talk. I can talk a blue streak. Um, Jill, Eileen, Jennifer, a bunch of y'all mentioned that your moms were military wives and workers and things. And being a military wife, you're already working two jobs because your mom and dad, both, and housekeeper. And then if you have a job outside, I mean, literally you are buried. So, um, I just cannot, and they were all, you know, they were thankful everyone taught them how to juggle things and keep the house clean and all this. And um, it made me think of Mama Rain, Annie's mom, because she worked at the hospital. And then she had, I think Annie is one of, I'm going to sit here and say it wrong, because one of her brothers has passed. Uh, yes, one of, one of nine. Um, because I didn't meet all of Annie's birth, so I want to be sure I was right. She had kids, and she buried two husbands, and well, three before she passed away, but when her kids were little, when she had children, she buried two husbands, and worked, and kept house, and kept them clean, and ironed all their clothes, and I just cannot imagine. I can't imagine. So, um, Thank you for making me think of Mama Rain and her ironing and all their clothes. Because when the, the kids were little, um, Annie would, whatever clothes were left at their house, Annie would press. She pressed all like their t-shirts and everything were all pressed. <laughs> so sometimes they were looking extra nice because if the clothes they left at Annie's were looking, ding. Because they, um, I mean, you don't have much money. You can always be clean and well-groomed. And so... Um, that was the thing Mama Rain worked and all her kids were always clean and well groomed and her home was clean and so thank y'all for making me think about my first world problems cleaning up my mom's storage building when on the day to day I don't have to be mom, dad, worker and housekeeper and chef and what is it my grandma used to say chief cook and bottle washer I mean holy moly all the things so and Atena, congratulations on twins in July. She's going to have twin grandbabies in July, and that is so exciting. And a boy and a girl. So she's going to get one of each. So that is so fun, and they're going to get to help with them. So that is fabulous. Uh, Blinky Cat, you tell that uh, her eight-year-old daughter watches with her, and she said that um, she agreed that people needed to up their game and not go out looking so rough. So, um, baby girl, we will hold the line now. You need to, if you're going to leave the house, you need to look like you're leaving the house. If you're staying in and cleaning out your garage, okay, fine. But if not, like I said, blow the stink off and get cleaned up a little bit. Try to look like you're doing something. Linda um, found a con another conversion for licorice red. All the thing I could come up with was, um, what did I say? 321 and 498 was as close as I could find anything. She found a chart that says one strand each of 445 and 471 DMCs. 445 and 471. So if you're also struggling with not being able to get your hands on licorice red and finding a conversion for it, well, there you go. So thank you so much, Linda, because I was having to work with what I had here. Um, oh my gosh, what did I write here? Back to <laughs> looking as nice as you can. Glee said, yes, I do. I try to look as nice as I can when I go out. And it made me think of, um, I used to go to work with, I worked to church with a lady who had a daughter that was the same age as CJ. And she was from the Philippines. And she would always, I've told you before, she would pray before the kids would leave for camp. And she prayed a long time. And she always would pray the blood of Jesus over the van. Which, you know, when you're a high school kid, you know, as an adult, you realize that's pretty strong protection, right? But when you're a high school kid, you're like, that's disgusting, you know? And, but she always looked, 
she always looked nice. She always looked nice. And her daughter come home, come to, her daughter told how she went home one day and because Terry always looked so nice. And she said she came home and her mama was down scrubbing the floor in a dress. And she said, mom, what are you doing? And she said, well, I'm cleaning the house. What do you think I'm doing? And she said, mom, you still have on pantyhose in your dress. And she said, well, my Jesus is coming back. And when my Jesus comes back, I want to be looking as nice as I can, no matter what I'm doing. So there you go. There you go. Terry had our back on it too. She always going to be looking nice. Jesus comes up. She ain't going to be showing like she looking raggedy. So there you go. Look as nice as you can because you never know when your Jesus is going to come back and then you're going to be caught with your hand in the cookie jar looking like a wreck. So there you go. Every time I want to be raggedy, I think about Terry cleaning her floors and her dress and pantyhose. And I think, well, girl, put some mascara on and get on down the road, right? So, okay. And um, Charles had me dying about ranch style beans. I had forgot, uh, like I so said, we always call them cowboy beans, but they're ranch style beans is actually the brand, you know, it says ranch style beans and it's a black can. And it had a little cowboy guy on there. He said it looked just like his brother. But I had forgot that it used to say, now it says um, crowd pleasing or people pleasing or something on it. And I thought I had a can in there, but I went and looked and I didn't or I showed y'all. Um, it used to say husband pleasing. I had completely forgot about that, Charles, about it saying husband pleasing. Oh, char. I had forgot that. Because, I mean, we, we grew up eating them. We always ate them. And like I said, we would um, make cowboy beans and ground meat. Um, and I'd make cornbread. I mean, because it was a fast dinner I could fix when I got home from work. You can also fix it and put it in the crock pot and let it be staying hot. And I would do that. And I would do um, hamburger soup. And then when the kids, we'd take them all out trick-or-treating, we had a whole group of us that all went together. We had the kids the same age, and we'd all go through the neighborhood. Then we'd come back to my house, and we'd bust a pinata, and there was food. Everybody had eaten everything. Like I said, I tell you, I miss that so much. And um, so that was one of the things I would always fix because all kids would eat it, cowboy beans and ground meat. All the kids would eat that. And so um, thank you for making me think about that. And he and the elusive stitcher tried to help me out with my – bad tea language. It is Roy Boss, Roy Boss, Roy Boss tea. It means red tree. And um, I did, they said it was super high in oxidants and electrolytes, which I did not realize. And um, so if you have a hangover, or you're sick, it's really actually good for you, you know, it'll help you get on past that. So uh, uh, thank you, Charles and Eileen for that, because I need all the help pronouncing um, I think they said it was like a from 17th or 14th century, an Afrikaans word, maybe? It means red tree, but so um, not my native language, so I guess I can get a little pass on butchering it to pieces, but I still feel terrible when I butcher people's words. Um, and Colleen, thank you for letting me know about the commercials. I am going to have Michael look at them when she puts in the ones for this one, because she usually just puts one beginning, one end, and one middle, and then I thought at first, maybe you watched before she got them done because last week they were driving back. But I, but she I got them done the same day. So I don't know why sometimes commercials change from what we put in there. I'm not sure how that happens, but thank you for letting me know because I will have her check it because if y'all don't let me know, I never know. And now I have gone blathered on for over an hour and I've got to do shares and stuff this week. So shares, um... We will do, well, let me do these first for last week because I have three that um, I don't think I announced and a couple that I haven't heard from anybody. Um, let's see. I think I got, I think I tried to get everything up right here. Ha ha. Okay. Thought I did. There we go. Okay, I did have it all together. I shouldn't trust myself. What else was new? Okay. I have not heard from Teresa. Is that right? I think I mailed y'all the wrong one, the wrong one. I just realized this. Karen, I think I mailed you the 
Easter. And so Teresa, your Valentine's now. Um, Teresa Petrick, I didn't hear from you on that one. Um, so Teresa Petrick, holler and send me your address. Um, I sent that one off. Daisy, do all the things. I haven't heard from you on, or if you have, I say that that way, but if you've messaged me and you haven't heard back from me, holler. It's, I don't think I've sent, if I already sent it to you and I just don't have you checked off. I don't see it here though. I try to keep everything together. Maybe I did already send it to you and I'm a goob and just didn't check it. Okay. Okay, I don't see it here, so you may be good. So, okay. Then, who else? Okay, I guess that was everybody that I hadn't heard from. Yeah. And Penelope and Pete are right here. M. Deutsch. Deutscht. I hope I say it right, Deutsch. D-E-U-T-S-C-H, like Deutsch, like for German, M. Deutsch. Penelope, if you'll email me, Nisi Lady at Yahoo. Um, then the angels, beautiful angel sampler. Yes. This is Carol Fawcett. Carol, it's by Lavender and Lace. Angel Sampler, if you will email me your address. Um, who else do we have here? Eileen was last week. No, it isn't. Here it is. Daisy. Here's the embroiderer that I haven't heard, that I haven't seen you on. It was under the, this one for last week, uh, Lori Holt's Adorable Vintage Housewife. It is so cute. Eileen Sanford, if you'll email me your address. Then I have this one that I haven't heard from. Let me find who it goes to. Sandy. Sandy Fischel is spring, um, is a spring hair. And Linda Meeks, springtime bird. Is that everybody? Okay, I have to lick my finger, y'all. I'm sorry, that's disgusting. Oh, Bonnie Sheffer. Bonnie Sheffer for the, the, the other Miss Margaret Ann Rolo. Okay, so that's everybody that we're waiting for. Um, so if you're in the stack, caller and send me your address. Other than that, so Daisy, I do have it if you'll be sure I get your address because if you've already sent it to me, holler back at me because I'm a goob and I missed it. Today we have um, Lizzie Cates and a hands-on design springtime in the garden. So if you like this one, this Lizzie Kate is adorable, pie, use the word pie. And this one is ice cream. Tell me if you like ice cream or pie better or both, or if you like ice cream on your pie, or if you like that, um, what is it that Bluebell makes sometimes? The is it a blackberry cobbler ice cream? Holy moly, it's so good. So ice cream or pie, if you're interested in these. And then this one is hands-on design, stitch in the garden, and it even has the little thingy thing in here. Um, I'm not gonna get to it anytime soon, so I'm gonna go ahead and pass it on, even though I've been dying to do one of these squares, and I have just not got them done yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and since, cause I'm gonna hopefully get to plant my corn in my garden out here on Saturday, or Sunday, I mean, so yay. So hopefully I'll get that done. So this is Stitch in the Garden. So let me know if you um, plant a garden. Or if you... So ice cream, pie, garden this week. And I'm going to shush and get off here. I've gone over 10 minutes. I try to keep it an hour, but we all know I talk too much. So y'all have a great weekend and a happy Friday and enjoy your stitching. Bye.